amigos y amigas, bienvenidos un día más a Canal de Brass y bienvenidos a una nueva entrega de Firewatch. Bueno, pues una vez que hemos descubierto ya de quién se trataba, eh, de, de, de quiénes estaban pues tirando los fuegos artificiales, ahora vamos a, a dirigirnos ya de regreso a, a nuestro hogar, a nuestra base, a Two Forks. Y para ello tenemos que seguir el camino del cañón. Entonces estoy viendo en el mapa que tenemos que seguir de frente tal como nos encontramos, girar a la derecha y cruzar el río y a la izquierda. Vale, pues venga, vamos para allá. De frente. Aquí deberíamos tirar a la derecha. Sí, sí. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort. When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. That's a good start, eh? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. Es There were reports that the entire park was gone. Sí, sí, Dan sí, Rather sí. telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. 30, 30 centavos es un gran aumento salarial, eh? Bueno, pues, no nos hemos metido. Que no podemos salir. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout.
Bueno, pues la verdad es que aquí no nos queda otra que seguir para adelante. O eso, o regresar. Estamos... Hey, I heard some thunder. Con una tormenta. Yeah, encima. I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means Norte, we'll be busy. Vale. Hurry home and try not no to get hit by lightning. Allá, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Hola. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Le caen siete rayos y el tío ahí se suicida. Qué fascinas. Bueno, pues mira, hemos llegado a, a la caja. La caja 303 la tenemos aquí al lado. Caja de suministros, muy bien. Pues vamos a abrirla con ese con ese código secreto. antes de que nos pille la lluvia bueno, pues tenemos un nuevo mapa vamos a copiar información un cartelito una linterna I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Está bien. Pues perfecto, pero no nos permite guardarla, o sea que de mucha utilidad no debería ser. Y la tormenta venía por el norte. Vamos a ver. Pues el norte está por aquí. En aquella dirección. Bueno, pues debe estar algo lejos porque todavía no no podemos mirarla. Vamos a ver el mapa. Porque la cueva estaba aquí al lado. Sí, tiene que estar aquí. Ah, vale, está ahí. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in. They never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, 
It is. Yep. Hello? algo ahí ahí puerta cerrada this cave is gated off it's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the forest service office first makes sense yeah, although debbie says she lost them like three years ago so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Permite seguir. a continuar por ahí que parece que es el lugar por el que tenemos que, que salir de esta cueva Pero no hay otra salida ¿No? por aquí regresamos si mal no recuerdo sí, sí, sí. Y regresamos al camino por el que entramos. Con lo cual no nos queda otra. Vamos a apagar la linterna ya, que no nos hace falta. Vale, pero vamos a intentar continuar camino por aquí. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? ¿Quién es ese? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. No me permitió enfocar a ver quién era. It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Venga, vamos a continuar camino. Sí, la tormenta viene de ahí. Ahí están esos lugarrones que indican la tormenta. Por ahí la puesta de sol. Vale, venga, continuamos. que está roto ah vale vale la podemos pasar Mira, vamos. vale perfecto centro perfecto y esto 
entiendo que es el lugar en donde estaba el... Por ahí parece muy complicado. Por ahí parece muy complicado y según el mapa... A ver por dónde nos envía. más un pelín más a la derecha con cual es un poco más de camino pero este parece más corto pero la verdad viendo lo abrupto casi es preferible que vayamos por allí pero no tenemos que andar haciendo escalada Buah. al final tenemos que hacer escalada igual no queríamos escalar y al final no quedó Estamos arriba, parece. Sí, sí, ya estamos arriba. ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Se ha roto el letrero? Al intentar pasar. Vale, vale, vale. Ah, uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything <laughs> for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Bueno, pues continuamos camino porque ya estamos cerca de, de la cabaña. Esta es la cabaña que habíamos visto. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Um, so it's, uh... Just the outhouse then, thing, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. No, God. Never. Bueno, pues continuamos. Y 
Ya estamos en nuestra torre. Ya se ha hecho de noche. Por lo tanto, vamos a ver si, si cenamos algo. ¿Qué hace aquí la, la máquina de escribir? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Todo tirado, todo. Ya tiramos la máquina de escribir de cualquier, de cualquier manera. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead bueno, since... Bueno, pues a ver si así obtenemos oh, algún forever. tipo de detalle de... Si sobre los list responsables names. de esto. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Día 2 Bueno, pues casi lo vamos a dejar aquí Recordándoos como siempre que, que le deis like si os ha gustado el gameplay Que os suscribáis si es que no estáis suscritos al canal Que dejéis vuestros comentarios Y por supuesto, recordándoos que mañana os espero a todos Con el, las aventuras del día 2 Venga, chao chao